those are the sweet potatoes. Down here we've got beans and they're starting to form already. Those are dragon tongue. Then we've got some cherry tomatoes back there and they have cherry tomatoes all over them. I'm trying to do a single stem and I'm starting to wrap as you can see there. I put this board up here temporarily to make a seed holding area and you can see here I've got tomatoes and peppers for the greenhouse, the big greenhouse outside, what I call the summer greenhouse. Up here we've got some melons that are growing down here. This is a canary melon and uh, no females on them yet. I've got a vining squash up there too. A cucumber here and there. Those are parts of the carpet cucumbers. And that's what's up there. And even in the elbow, a couple um, Chinese cabbages on the end down there, along with a couple more cucumbers. Now here is the lettuce floating raft. And uh, I can tell you that there have been, there's been a, this thing takes up a lot of space. So in this coming winter, I'm not going to do this anymore in here. Or I may bring a really small one in here or something else. I'm not sure yet. But it's coming along okay. They seem to be a little leggy and I think that's because of the light. Which brings me to my next subject. But before that, let's talk about I'm uh, also using this as a propagator. Sticking it through the edges here. And they root tomatoes very, very easily, very well. So I'm happy about that. But... Overall, I think um, I was noticing with this raft here that the less was getting a little bit leggy being in the back side of the greenhouse over here. There's not really much room else for it. So I put my grow light, LED grow light in there and I noticed the lettuce started doing a lot better. And once I did that, um, I could see that some of the other vegetables through here weren't doing that great. So I went ahead and bought a second one. So I have two LEDs those are like 135 watts each and I have them on a timer over there So they don't they don't come on uh, but five hours a day. I think I've got uh, This humidifier dehumidifier going and it fills up every couple days pulling the uh, uh, Moisture out of the air seems to be doing pretty good on wet uh, wet days rainy days like today it just can't keep up um, humidity and it gets high in here but uh, at, when it's dry the sun's out it, it's really very nice in here so anyway yeah uh, I'm gonna pull you push you up here to the top here and let you see what the sweet potatoes look like and they seem like they're growing pretty good nice and healthy looking now every this bucket right here and this one right here had tomatoes in it and they were just struggling to get through the sweet potatoes so I went ahead and cut them off at the base and I'm rooting them I'm gonna put them in the greenhouse the summer greenhouse the big greenhouse outside what you can see there is an attempt to get rid of some of the um, fungus gnats them things are all over the place and you can see here I put some stickies up and that has controlled them significantly finally I was spraying every few days but with these sticky traps, it keeps them pretty contained. Not a whole lot. Manageable, acceptable to me anyway. So that's where we're at with the sticky traps. Um, I got it as a roll. You can see the roll over there on top of the mirror. And uh, right there. And you just roll it out. It's really sticky though. And uh, it seems to be doing okay. So that's what's going on with the sticky tape. Some things do okay on the top row if they vine and can hang down like the melons and the cucumber you know they they seem to be doing pretty well um, they've got the supplemental light and the outside light to help and they seem to be they seem to do fairly well the lessons I've learned are uh, not to grow tomatoes in the top they just for some reason they're just not doing very well we've got the daikon radishes here as you can see from the bulbs here, let me put my finger next to it. They're starting to get pretty good size. They're 
twice my finger width here and um, they're not unmanageable really the I expected the tops to grow more and I was planning on putting some string around them kind of bunching them up like this to kind of control the light in case it was taking other things but it seems to be doing fine like it is it's not blocking out any other plants now the squash I'm not getting a lot of males until right about now when I'm taking this video but these things are trying to make babies like crazy this one not as much as some of the others so this is probably not a keeper but what I'm gonna try to do is in the next week or so once I know that the danger frost is gone or freezing temperature is gone I want to move these outside because I know what these things will do when they're when they have lots of light and lots of uh, well light <laughs> But there, it's this is a fantastic squash I've got here. You can look look at all the babies on these things. They just want to make like crazy, and that's the same with all the squash. Let me take you the one down here that I really like. Okay, take a look at this one. You see all those squash all over it? Oh my gosh! That thing wants to make some squash. The one next to it's not that bad either. So that's a squash, a little pepper stunted over there, a little beef tomato, it's kind of stunted over here, and then the other tomatoes are doing okay on this side. So anyway guys, that's it. One little quick last little thing here. I had a sweet potato that I'm growing slips on, and all I do is I take and I cut them off close here, and then I stuff them down in the same pot and they're rooting great. I guess I could take it out and kind of show you. Yeah, so that's not just a potato that's off of the individual stems. And this is a different kind of sweet potato. This is a tan yellow, tan with yellow orange flesh. And these up here are red with white flesh. So I want to get some of each ones going. Well, this is Brent, you guys. That's it for an update on the winter slash heated greenhouse.